In today's lesson, we will be discussing the different options available in the view menu of Discovery Studio Visualizer. So let's begin. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. To get started, we will need to open a protein model first. Once the protein model is open, we will begin by discussing the color option in the view menu. This option allows us to change the color of the entire model, a portion of it or a selected part. Let's start by applying it to the entire model. As you can see, the color of the whole protein has changed. Changing the color of the whole protein can be useful for visually emphasizing specific features or making it easier to distinguish uh, different components within the protein structure. For example, you could use a different color to highlight specific regions of the protein or to distinguish different chains uh, within a multi-chain protein. This can help to better understand the structure and organization of the protein, making it easier to analyze and interpret the data. Additionally, changing the color can also help to make the protein structure more aesthetically appealing, which can be useful for presentations or other forms of communications. Next, let's select a portion of the protein and apply the color change. This changes the color of the selected portion. If you want to change the color of a specific chain in a multi-chain protein, you can do so by first selecting the chain from the hierarchy menu and then applying the color change. You can also change the color of selected residues by first selecting the desired or important residues and then changing their color. Being able to change the color of selected residues can be a useful tool for highlighting specific regions of a protein or for differentiating between different types of residues within the protein structure. For example, you may want to highlight residues that are known to be important for a particular function or interaction or you may want to distinguish between different types of residues based on their chemical properties or structural features. This can help to better understand the function and organization of the protein, making it easier to analyze and interpret the data. Additionally, the ability to change the color of selected residues can also be used for visualizing changes in the protein structure that may occur due to mutations, post-translational modifications or other factors. Overall, the ability to change the color of selected residues is an important tool for gaining a deeper understanding of protein structure and function. Additionally, you can select specific types of residues from the Edit Select menu and change their color. Now let's move on to the second important option, Transform. The first option here is zoom in, which brings the view closer to the viewer step by step. The zoom out option will move the model further away from the viewer. Being able to zoom in and out is an important tool for visualizing the protein structure in different levels of details. Zooming in can help to see smaller features and details of the protein that may not be visible at lower magnification, which can be useful for examining specific regions or for making more accurate measurements. On the other hand, zooming out can give you a more global view of the protein making it easier to see the overall structure and how different regions of the protein fit together. This can be especially useful when working with large or complex protein structure. Additionally, the ability to zoom in and out can also be used to adjust the view to better fit the size of the window or to provide a clearer view when working with multiple protein models at the same time. The reset zoom option resets the zoom level to its default. The Reset Rotation option resets the orientation of the model to its starting point. If you have rotated the model, clicking Reset Rotation will reset the rotation to its initial position. The Fit to Screen option will fit the model to the screen window size. If your model is off-center and you want to bring it to the center, you can use this option. Now let's talk about the Spin option. If you click this option, your molecule will start spinning. The spin option in the view menu of Discovery Studio Visualizer is a tool that allows you to rotate the protein model in a continuous manner. This can be useful for getting a better understanding of the 3D structure of the protein, especially when working with complex or large protein models. By rotating the model, you can visualize it from different angles and see different parts of the protein 
that may be obscured from the initial view. The spin option can also be useful for making presentations or animations. By rotating the model, you can create a dynamic visual representation of the protein structure that can be used to illustrate a particular aspect of the protein's function or to help explain its structure to others. The rock option causes the molecule to rotate from left to right and vice versa. The wiggle option is a quicker version of the rock. Let's move on to the storyboard. The storyboard option in the view menu of Discovery Studio Visualizer is a tool that allows you to create a series of snapshots or frames of the protein model. These frames can be used to create an animation of the protein model over time, which can be useful for a variety of purposes, including presentations, educational materials, or scientific publications. One of the key benefits of the storyboard option is that it allows you to create a visual representation of the protein structure over time, which can be useful for illustrating changes in the protein's conformation, movement, or other properties. For example, you could create a storyboard that shows the protein moving from one conformation to another or that demonstrate the binding of a ligand to the protein. The storyboard option can also be useful for creating animations that can help explain complex concepts to others such as students, colleagues or members of the public. By creating a visual representation of the protein structure over time, you can make the information more accessible and engaging for your audience. In addition, by creating a dynamic representation of the protein structure, you can help to illustrate your findings in a clear and visually appealing way, which can be especially useful for readers who may not have the background in protein structure or biochemistry. First, position your molecule in a specific manner. Then click the Add Scene option to add a movie frame to the storyboard. Then rotate the molecule and add another scene. You can add as many scenes as you like by changing the position, orientation and zoom of the molecule. The rewind option takes the movie back to its initial position. This play button allows you to play the whole movie. And this loop option will cause the movie to play repeatedly. To save and export the movie to your storage, use this option. The previous scene option allows you to move the movie one scene backwards and the next scene option moves it to one scene forwards. That concludes today's lesson. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Also please like, comment, share and press the bell icon. Thank you and goodbye.